Welcome to this tutorial where I will be showing you how to land the Super Hornet or any other naval plane for that matter on the carrier safely and within procedures. As you see we are currently flying on top of the ocean somewhere we need to find the carrier's location. You can do this by going to add-ons, VRS AI and carrier or if you have RKA carriers then same purpose. This window pops up where you can make or see the information of a carrier. Note the taken and the ILS frequency as they will be of use. We'll now let him to save position and you want to note wind over deck, heading and the actual wind. So we see the heading is 8, that's our base recovery course. And wind over deck is 30 knots which is what we require to land safely. So let's put in the taken 58 x-ray and on the HST we should have a receiving signal. Turn on the TCN taken mode and we should now have a direction as a little triangle in the lower left where the carrier actually is. Now we want to set up our course so that we can intercept the carrier perfectly and if you remember it, it was 008. So setting the course to 008, now we have to simply follow that white line and basically fly the VOR all the way in. Uh, we are currently doing a case 1 approach, which isn't really uh, demanding on being accurate, since you, all, you do this visually all the way in, and we just need to take them for actual uh, ranging. Make sure your hook is down. This is the carrier recovery chart. As you can see, it says an 800 feet level break at the beginning. Speed break, right as we pass over the carrier at 300 feet, 350 knots. 800 feet to 350 knots. Landing gear down as soon as we slow around to 250 knots. And a 30 degree bank to the left. We come to the downwind section of this, or a beam, which at which point we, are, we should be fully configured at landing speed and as soon as we cross the beam position at 1.1 to 1.2 nautical miles we start our turn back in onto the groove which is the final portion I have just fast forwarded the uh, footage for now as we make our way to the carrier enjoy the scenery currently 7 miles away. Let us put the map back into radial mode here by going into mode and then TUP. We have set the mode back into radial mode. This way we can know what bearing is our downwind course or a beam course which is the reciprocal of 6008. We are overhead the carrier now. I have opened up the view window on the upper right so you can see how this progresses. Speed brakes are up. Slow down to 250 knots. Turn bank left at one mile. Gear is down. As soon as the flight path get, get, gets in the E bracket, we put flaps down. One notch of flaps is down. The second notch of flap also comes down. As you can see in the upper right, we're currently aligning with the downwind section, or a beam, at 600 feet no less than 500 currently 1.5 miles carrier is off to our left here visually we at this point make sure our hook is down our gear is down and everything's good to go keep the throttle moving keep the throttle moving it's a uh, it's it's really necessary because the jet engines take quite a bit of time to spool so you want to always keep them moving up and down we turn a bit to the right to uh, offset just a bit because of uh, less spacing than intended. 
turn left at 1.2 miles a beam and now this is kind of a tricky part we have to make sure that uh, by the time we arrive in the 90 position which is facing perpendicular to the ship we have to be above 400 feet and by rollout which is the groove or finals we have to be about we have to be about 300 feet so we can enjoy a 4 degree glide slope all the way down on the bow Tacky window has changed in the upper right and I'll just pause this right here as you can see on the ball there's a yellow glowing lights and two green lights this is the datum light if this goes down then your airplane is dangerously low if this goes up then your aircraft is high we want to we want to keep this centered so green light should always match up with yellow light for perfect uh, three wire or four degree four degree glide slope if it turns red and starts to flash that's it that is our wave off cue at that point we have no choice but to push the throttle at mill power maximum power without afterburners pull up the gear and flaps it is very important to not change the nose position as we may actually trap and we don't want to do that with a wave off because it is dangerous keep the throttle moving Keep the throttle moving. We are following the ball, keeping our alignment. Now we are doing a three, three step check. We, we, we check in the ball for a glide slope. We are checking our flight path marker for alignment. And we are also keeping an eye on our altitude. Ball, alignment, altitude. Ball, alignment, ball, alignment, ball, alignment, ball, 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 ball. Crap. As you can see, because of FSX physics, our crap is a bit... Eh. It is very important to note that at the final moments of the trap, you should you should have your eye directly on the ball. Because, and the trap should come as an actual surprise. And once the trap comes, or it doesn't come, but as soon as your wheels touch the carrier, you have to put your aircraft in full power. This is because even if we don't catch a wire, we should be safe and have enough lift and airspeed to go back up and once again come back in for a... Now we should also uh, turn off the anti-skid because we are on the carrier. Fold up our wings. Pull up the flaps. Okay, pressing delete will now toggle the nose wheel steering and pressing shift plus N will toggle the high gain nose wheel steering which is what we want on a carrier because of the cramped space at this point we would have already contacted the carrier traffic controller and he would have assigned us to the ground guys the, those who will point us to our uh, working location we are now simply taxiing back and once we do taxi back it is just a matter of parking correctly and shutting down the systems of the airplane. So engines off, lights off, parking brakes set, and the canopy back up again. Air source still on. And canopy is open. And we have successfully landed on a carrier, navigated, and trapped successfully. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. See you.